Well, now that it's nice and warm outside, we aren't the only ones getting a little bit more active. Snakes are too. Nope, I don't like snakes. <laughs> and we're heading, hearing about more people spotting these reptiles in and around their yards. Saw one just today. So Lauren Hartson on your side tonight with how to keep them out of your yard this summer, Lauren. Yeah, Brittany, Josh, Alabama has 40 different species of snakes, but only six of them are venomous. That's only about 15%. So while, of course, if you spot a snake, you need to be careful, I'm told it's not really necessary to go out of your way to either hurt or kill the snake. You have a, a greater chance of getting bit if you're trying to catch it. You have a greater chance of getting bit if you're trying to kill it. So Mark Hay with Alabama Snake Remover says it's better to just let the snakes be. They're more scared of us. A snake is, looks at us as something big, like we would look at a bear. And, and as it sees us coming, the first instinct it is going to do is try to remain still, try to use their camouflage to, to blend into their surroundings and not be seen. The second to get away as quickly as possible. But finally, if you try to hurt them, Hay says they could lash out just like people would. Once you hurt this snake, the snake has nothing else to live for. So he's going to pack you with as much venom as he possibly can. So the safest thing to do and the smartest thing to do is just turn around and walk away. There are some things you can do to help prevent snakes from being attracted to your yard and they don't include what you might expect. A lot of people ask me if mothballs work or snake away works, lime, uh, mint. I've heard ropes draped in uh, or soaked in diesel fuel works. None of these things work. Hay says snakes need what we do, shelter, food, and water, and you can easily get rid of two of those. The biggest things that I recommend are keeping a tidy yard, keeping your grass cut low, uh, keeping leaves and piles of debris raked up. Um, and if you do have to feed your dog outside or something, make sure you don't leave a, a bowl of food around that the dog is not going to finish before the evening. That food can attract rodents, which can attract snakes. If it's in your prop on your property, in your yard, especially in your house and you can't live with it, I understand. Give us a call. Um, they don't have to die. So if you see a snake while well, maybe you're out on a walk this summer, Hay says it's best to just walk away. Contrary to popular belief, he says that snakes aren't going to come after you if you simply just leave them alone. Live in Birmingham, Lauren Harkson to BBRC Fox 6 News on your side.